Cost codes track different costs in QuickBit. For example, they generally describe a labor action, like framing wall, or a material category, like acoustical ceiling tile. However, there are also cost codes for equipment, subcontractor, and other general conditions. Except for additional markups, every cost entry in your bid must have an associated cost code. The cost code list master window is where you create and maintain your cost codes. The cost code list window lives in the master menu at the top of the screen. Master windows contain database level information, which means the content is usable on every bid in the current database. Cost codes are part of the estimating process. However, there's another window named account codes used to create a different type of code used by the accounting department. Cost codes and account codes work together. So this window is accessible while adding or editing a cost code, and we'll review it during that process a bit later. Once the cost code list window is open, you'll see the list of all the available cost codes in the current database. It's not uncommon to have several hundred cost codes. At the top of the window is a find field to help you search for the code you need. The find field is directly related to the currently sorted column. So for example, sorting by the cost code column allows you to find cost codes based on their code. But sorting by description enables you to find them based on their name. If you don't want to search, you can filter the window by cost code type, equipment, labor, material, other, or subcontractor. You can also filter by section, but only if you manually assign your cost codes to a section. A section assignment isn't required, and cost codes don't come with section assignments by default. On the right side of the window are buttons to add or delete cost codes, as well as print the list of cost codes. Adding a cost code is easy. To start, click the New button to add a new line. You can also click on one of the cost codes in the list and press the Insert key on your keyboard. Next, choose which type of cost code you want to add from the drop-down list in the Type column. When creating the code itself, you can use both letters and numbers. Therefore, you might see a combination of numbers and words in your list. Ultimately, as long as your new code differs from all the other codes, it can be whatever you want it to be. Finally, enter a description for the cost code to identify it clearly. The last two fields are optional, but helpful. Your accounting department probably already has an established chart of accounts. Often, they'd rather see those account codes on QuickBids reports and exports instead of your estimating cost codes, which they may not be familiar with. If so, you can add those codes and assign them to your cost codes using the account code field. For instance, Let's imagine the accounting department uses a single code for all activities of a particular type of labor. Just type that code into the account code field on one of the lines and press enter. A message appears prompting you to add the new account code to the database. Click the yes button and the account code's master window appears. This is the master window mentioned earlier. Now, just give the new account code a description and click the select button. If you have several additional account codes to add, you can click the new button on the right to add more before selecting the one you need. You can also access this window directly from the master window if you want to add all of your account codes and assign them to a cost code later. Now that you have the account code, you can assign that same code to every cost code that needs it. When running a report or export, you'll see an option to use account codes. This option combines the totals for all the cost codes assigned to an account code and displays a single total for the account code instead. As previously mentioned, if you wish, you can assign a section to each cost code in the final cost code field. Now you can use the filter at the top of the screen to filter your cost codes to a specific section. You can delete unused cost codes by selecting one and clicking the delete button or pressing the delete key on your keyboard. However, if a cost code is in use anywhere, for example, on a bid, item, or assembly, you can't delete it. However, if you just wanna change a code, click inside the cost code field and type in a different code. This action replaces the old code with the new code everywhere it's used in the database. Replacing codes is helpful if you want to transition from using numbers to words or vice versa, or if you just want to insert a new code in between others.